Welcome back. I had to restart that video for a moment because of that uh, sound feedback loop. I don't want to have that on my video on demand later. Hey Jorn, welcome and welcome to everybody else already hanging around here. We're going to endure that friggin' psychic rain. Wait a sec, is that psychic rain gone? The psychic rain is gone! When? Was it already gone when I ended the last episode? Groovy. <laughs> so... It's looking good so far. We need to put the training on here. And the training on there. And the training on here. My god. It's a lot of training to be done. Oh, we got a new Utah Raptor too. So this one needs age pills. We'll have to. We'll have to make sure that the fresh animals are not in baby status for too long. Here we go. Age pills for everybody. I love that stuff. This makes everything so much more efficient. Get over here, little Utah Raptor. There we are. Okay. So that's done. And where do we go next? So. One patient awaits operation, Ayak. My god, this place is so... brim-filled with stuff, exactly as I had it in my memory. Wow, we actually have a lot of funky meat here. And a lot of funky leather, my goodness. It's been a couple of days since my last session with this run here. And... should possibly try to hunt down some horses. I mean, it's not like we can't afford to live just from the funky meat, but it could probably be a problem for those who, who don't have that acquired taste. Where did we go research-wise? Artificial ecosystems. So that's powered up hydroponics. Genetic research is one step before mechanoid genetic engineering. Hey, Wiggly, thank you so much and welcome. Nice to see you. Okay, so the animals are now pepped up. Yeah, come on, let's give that muffalo cough one, two. As soon as I find it, that is. Oh, here. Administer lavish cocktail. <laughs> I love to read that every time. So, there's uh, a monosword lying around there. Isn't that Nick's monosword? Yeah. Just uh, wondered. This looked so familiar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Persona Bond. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, Bear and Megafauna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't I have the gene duplicator already built up? I didn't. Okay. Where do I? Ah, here it is. Oh, we have Pop's granduncle and Yalda's uncle here. I wonder when Yalda will come back. Haven't seen him for a while. So we're going to duplicate those beer genes. Basically, the plan now will be to... Oh, gosh. Okay. This will be a little bit annoying now. But that's my favorite point to be in this mod. So we're now able to just clone ourselves the genes that we want. 
which means once I am done with this tediousness, I will have this bench configure, configured like whenever we have at least one specimen of a genome, we're going to make uh, to triple it. This is really awesome once you are at this point. It makes everything so much more manageable. So we, th I think we got now everything. So we need wolf, insectoid, boomalope, and reptile. We'll go. Tortoise. Tortoise is what we need. Okay, let's send Ash. Where did the tortoise go? Ah, here. Oh, I can just prioritize hunting. There we go. So, theoretically, the psychic rain should be over, so once that rain is gone, we should be back to normal weather. Come on, Ash, you can do it. I knew you had it in you. Okay. Wonderful. Meanwhile, I need some food. So, let's mark some stuff on the map for the hunt. Oh yeah, let's hunt ourselves some ground runner too. They are, after all, quite meaty. Speedy creatures like tortoises, yeah. In the rain, you know, tortoises in the rain. Oh man, the sun is shining again. It's no psychic rain anymore. <laughs> it was like, I think, three or four episodes now that I have this stallion revenge. Okay. No probs, my dudes. I still have a tech prof core. Hmm. Oh yeah, we had the flu in town. I vaguely remembered that. But as it seems, everything is well under control. I love this colony. I generally love all high-end genetic rim colonies. They are so much fun once you get there. Okay, so next stop, Boomalope. Hmm? What do we have here? T-Rex egg. Mm. Can't wait for it. Oops. A wrong button. Yeah, well, because I felt like kind of very, very tired today from my vaccination, I felt like it's time to go to my beloved Soap opera. Oh, there's wolf. We need wolves. Let's pick up that. Yeah, thanks, Wiggly. I'm so happy I'm finally. It's just the first shot, but finally I'm there. It was quite something. So, well, let's give Please No the. The honor of taking the first shot. Ooh, that was a good volley. There we go. It's all already done. If I remember correctly, Iconia was trained to do that, or, well, actually. Where do we want to go with that? Well, let's take care of that this wolf doesn't disappear. Sounds like I'll be able to schedule my sh second shot soon. Ah, uh, happy to hear that. Hey, Ash, welcome. Well, my second vaccine shot is already um, scheduled for the 10th of August, so... It's 
all cool here. <laughs> yeah, funky meat spam. I love it. This is one rugged colony, I tells you. They've been through so much already, these guys. I mean, we're here like oh, almost five years now. Nice. Okay, timber. How much timber do I have in this place? I think this is my stacking place, and that's definitely not enough timber. Needs more timbers. Because with the gene duplication stuff, it's uh, we need to do a lot of pop. Stream's resolution? I, I don't know. The stream is... can't check where I have it but I don't stream at 19 yeah 1080 okay 60 FPS okay that's what what it should look like good stuff <laughs> we have so many gemstone thingies at this point now it's pretty cool our guests are buying stuff at an amazing pace here. We already have 12 grand in our treasury. Gosh. This is so dangerous. <laughs> Make more rugs. Crappy internet is crap. Uh, that's such a such an eloquent way to put it. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Okay. So we definitely should stop cultivating so many so many non-eatable things. Let's start growing some food. Gavies? Nah. Peas? Eggplants. I like eggplants. Hey, and the second psychoid plant thingy is uh, also meant to go. Pea plant. So, new subscribers. At first, I wasn't sure what I if I liked it or not. That. My YouTube subscriptions are now linked to the channel, but somehow it's it's quite cathartic. <laughs> okay. There's Galatrosses here. Friggin' Galatrosses. They can spit frack grenades, they're so deadly. But they they yield friggin' Galatross leather. Oh we we have a picture now. Hmm. Okay. Palazzo the Elephant. Still love that name. We have so many good items there just rotting in the dirt. Just casually dumpstered a assault rifle. Because we are already running around with ghost rifles and charged rifles and... There's so many assault rifles in the weapons locker. Charge minigun. These are really armed to the teeth. So, okay. We already started to duplicate the, the bear genes. So now we need insectoid and... Reptilian? Hey, where did that tortoise go? Somebody must have put the tortoise into the soup. That was not the deal. Oh, we're behind in that. Dang it. But ex well, at least there's some lope around here. You see only three to four seconds of the stream every ten seconds or so. Oh man. And you can't even downscale it. That sucks. Sorry to hear that, Ash.
mm, hunting them guinea pigs and uh, other small game with charge weapons. Gotta love that. All right, let's take down one nope. Make it boom! Make it go booms! Okay, there we go. That was that. We need now to extract the genes, and you guys need to vote for a new tech. Heavy bridges, fabrication, smoke pop packs, or wake up production. Oh man, there's a lot of sassy things going on there. Yeah, alright, you go for the VOD. Aw, oh, thanks for the, uh, for the fabrication vote. The only thing which is really, really annoying me is that my arm feels like somebody punched me. But I've been warned that this might be a side effect of the vaccination. Fine desserts. Yum. Okay, quite happy with my decision to amp up the food production here. Hey, AFK with your sis. Hi there. Well, I felt like some RimWorld tonight. Hope I can't skip the other side effects. Well, doctor said most likely I will. And most likely I'll get the worst side effects once we do the second shot. And the last spell cooking up for us soon? Yeah, sure thing. I was already considering it for tonight, but I didn't want to do the same thing too often in a row, you know. But I really want to finish the run I started the other night, because I went really deep, and I want to see how far they can get. So let's see if we can tame that Ripper Hound. That would be a sick, sick pet here. But I mentioned it before in the stream that I'm feeling really tired today because of the vaccination shot and therefore I wanted something something chill for today. Games like Last Spell, they need too much brain capacity. Genetic Rim, uh, Rim World is just like my soap opera mode. After almost 2000 hours in this game, I can't play it without thinking anymore. Can't promise that everybody will survive, but I can play it, okay? So... There's fine arts lying around here. So, Hyorian is now in his bronze face. Oh, he's already done with the bronze face. So, Hyorian, Garnet, Big Spit, Amber, Peridot, or Ruby. There's also some Larimar. Choose. We still have loads and loads of bronze. Let's see if you heard that. We have 150 flakes just lying around there casually. Man. They were absolutely amazed by my hospitality. Hey, Cerno, welcome. Needle chicken eggs, acrylic wool, muffalo wool. Ya yeah, yo. Fungus, psychotropic fungus and salt. Is that a, uh, is that how he likes to consume? <laughs> Paragon chicken egg. Okay, they really enjoyed themselves here. The least favorite waffler has arrived. Okay. I'll give it to you. Nobody writes nonsense like you do, Serena. You keep impressing me. Go on. Illuminated end table. Illuminated dresser. Oh man, I want these. I want to try out these. So let's let's build some uh, really groovy bedroom. Do I have the necessary materials for a ergonomic bed? Yeah, I think so. So let's do a double bed because this is supposed to be a really, really nifty and nice room. No school tomorrow, so I'm going all night to unify Africa. Sounds like a legit plan. So 
More choppins, please. I love the fact that we conquered this whole meadow here now. I haven't, uh, haven't really acquired it now or, or, or using it as, uh, as I want to, but I'm really feeling good with that. Hey, we tamed the Ripper Hound. Awesome. So, wait a sec. I don't need to have the animals in the groovy zones anymore. Oh, look at that. We have a fresh Triceratolo. And it's sadly not female again. I want to breed them, you know. They're such cool animals. Very easy, just say the Europeans are coming back. <laughs> Alright. We're tailoring away on plain leather. We really need to get rid of all that funky leather one day, though. Okay. I know that something distracted me from things that I wanted to do. Just can't remember what it was. <laughs> so... I just came up with the idea that I want that I want one more kitchen bot. I'm not getting the jobs done here, so Jorin didn't uh, react when I asked him. So we're going to go for a Larimar, or no? Let's craft away on that amber. Three large amber sculptures, please. So, how are my beloved neighbors? It's seven days until restock. Fourteen days until restock. Restocked. Okay. Let's send you get Rajul or er. And, well, Yorian, why not? And they have somebody on the Malay side, too. Alright, bring the muffalos, bring the donkeys, the horses, the josies, the elephants. We're going with the friggin' zoo. Triceratholos. Okay, I think we have enough carrying capacity here. What the Belgians did in the Congo actually freaks me out. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's funny that you mentioned it, that because I, I discovered that only a couple of days ago, I stumbled over this really, really disgusting piece of human history. It's amazing. It's like... They they make uh, the Third Reich look like a like a cheap sequel. I'm really not over exaggerating there. It's brutal. Although I don't want to compare one one thing like that with the other. That's not right of me. Sorry about that. So we're going to pick up more drugs. Where are the drugs? Here's the drugs. So, Ambrosia, Flake, Yayo, all the good stuff. We're just keeping the smoke leaf joints here. Ah, oh, yes, please take the psychotropic fungus too. Yeah, Wiggly, you'll regret it. You'll regret looking that uh, up. I was really, really surprised about the severity of that whole topic. I had no clue. And I felt happier when I had no clue. I'm not gonna lie. Anywho, let's have some fun. And uh, let's see what Wiggly says when he looked up the uh, Belgians' behavior in the Congo. And you guys can all do that yourselves too if you want to. If you really want to. But you've been warned, okay? You've all been warned. 
can't believe waffle makers did stuff like that. Well, it, it was mainly the decisions of one king, though. Hey, Raven, welcome. Nice to see you here again. So the week of crazy new releases is finally over, or the last two weeks of crazy new releases are now over, and we are in the midst of Steam Summer Sale. And I feel like things are slowing down finally again. Yeah, well. I don't mind discussing history, Cerno. I love history. History is one of my favorite topics in life. Oh, this is such a really beautiful room. It is for real. It's unbelievably impressive to sit in there. There you have it. So, can somebody tell me what kind of uh, meal we're eating here? Well, regular meal as it seems. Just don't see where we're storing the ingredients these days. I only see that one funky ingredient. Ah, oh, we're finally getting, getting that done. Carpenter's tar pit. Still feels like it sounds like Carpenter's armpit. I can't get that impression out of my head. And I hope neither can you guys. You're welcome. Alright. So for for today I haven't planned any too big expansions. My my big goal for today is to have a nice data bank of genes but it looks like we're low on on timber i just need insectoid genes which is a shame because i had so many the further i get into this wikipedia t article the worse it gets <laughs> yeah like i said <laughs> it's uh i was surprised about that too and i I checked out a lot of messed up topics in the human history. There's not really anything interesting to be tamed right now. I mean, the Meadow Aves would be definitely appealing, but uh, they have such a high revenge chance. It's what, 12%? Ew. Insectoid genes, hey Dave, hi there. It's not that hard. We'll get an infestation soon again. I mean, the last 2,100 insect meat didn't show up here on their own. Let's just say the insectoids were not voluntarily cooperating in that process. Oh, wait a sec, there's again this broken ca uh, caravan. Drop event, okay. Worker outsourcing. Four colonists for 15 days. We could get a silent neuroformer for that. Ooh. Juicy. Bad drop event, oh my god. Don't do it, no, I don't want no, I don't want new spaceship chunks filled with insectoids. You guys can do whatever you want to. I give you that freedom. Wake up, binge. Um, you know, that there are things where I feel like we're we're hitting we're hitting a, a border. Ah, wake up, addiction. Oh, okay. Great. You call that smooth? Just created ourselves an addict. An addictress. No, this is also your gun. I wish this game would let you seal hard drugs in a locked cabinet. 
well. If I remember correctly. Oh no, it was. No. Well, Suzette was quite unhappy with eating raiders for quite some time, and she had a lot of uh, mental breakdowns because of that, so. I feel like it's only a logical consequence in the story to develop a a few other mental quirks. It just happens when the human mind is stressed out too hard, you know. So, let's hunt ourselves some more food. Yeah. Defoliator ship. Eleven centipedes. <laughs> well, not my problem. Well, actually, it is my problem. But the good news about that is, they they won't be. The defoliator thing isn't uh, is not going to affect my base because 100 tiles is pretty far away. The only thing I'm not feeling so comfy about anymore is hunting near that. But I mean, it seems like we're okay. Yeah, you guys can come. Let's not hunt this anymore. I think the game has gone bad. Alright. Let's clear the home zone area here. I don't want to have that declared as home zone. <laughs> and where was my comms console again? I keep forgetting that. I know this colony has one. Or it does it. In the laboratory. I knew I had one. Otherwise the still a trader wouldn't have showed up. Okay. Mobile restaurant. Well, just like I thought there. Not really helping here. So the real bad news here is that these centipedes, they have enough firepower to just annihilate the entire colony. I'm pretty sure we won't be winning that if we, if we would go for this. Why is it spoiled? Is it rotting already? Strange. Colonist needs rescue. So malnutritioned. Okay. How's the funky nomics going? Pretty well. I mean, we have more funkies. Then we have any other food right now. And we have blighted rice plants on cool. So, cut the plants, and that's gonna be done by. Well, I, I wanted to send Ash, but he was busy spending quality time with his wife. Oh man, we're destroying our whole batch here. Huh, ten, ten rice dropped out of the whole thing. Not cool, man, not cool. And at least we got rid of that blight really quickly. Now what I need would be a siege at this spot. That would be extremely good, nice. Oh, me arm hurts. Okay. 
Do I have enough material for another Triceraphalo? I have lots of uh, dinosaur. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, not megafauna. Here. I want to have a dino wolf too, though. Let's check what we can do at this place. Buy new people. Heck no. So, first off, let's see what they can sell us. A high rank tier cleaner base station. Well, thanks, but no thanks. Well,. They're almost broke again. That happened quickly. Burn Gauntlet. Okay. Healer Mech Serum. Oh yeah, I'm going to buy those. This is just useful. And I have so many goods that I want to sell away. Would be a shame not to use that money. We have 175 psychoid leaves. Well, let's just keep selling that. And the ambrosia. Okay, here we go. These guys have also restocked, so we're going to get there. Okay, well, that's really nice. Cloning works now, too. Just a little bit worried about my foods, but... Well... We're going to make it. Let's hunt us that turkey. Fabrication. Hmm. Iconia went into Psychic Binge. At this point, I don't even care anymore, you know. I'm done with caring. So. Now, where do we want to go with this? And what do you guys vote here? Robotics, fundamentals. Ooh. Manufacturing, also a pretty nifty tech. Monuments, okay. Almost clicked that window too early. <laughs> Yalda is dazed, and one of the Josies is pregnant. Wonderful. As artist, you're compelled to vote this. Yeah, I love your uh, your off votes. They don't really bring the bring us closer to the architect centipede coal, but you know. Oh dear. So, 11 pirates. Oof. They want those healer mech serums. Naughties. Yeah, you take those. I'm not gonna fight 11 pirates here like that. It's a good choice and I'll support you by putting up statues of your... <laughs> Murderous Rage. Okay. Okay, Suzette, now chill. Now you just chill. Rossi is wearing a titanium advanced vest. Chill. Okay, Suzette is chill now. Holy moly, that was uh, by far one of the most brutal pirate assaults I had on the road. Ever. They really took something from me that I didn't want to give them. 
naughty. Speaking about naughty, I got human meat in my pocket. So, well, let's see what they have. Imagine a monument made of funky meat. Smoked and air dried to preserve. Well, I a part of me wants to throw up right now. A part of me is uh, appalled, and another part of me is just agreeing. I love Rim World. Power arm, exoskeleton suit, a high-tech device made of two components, a light skeletal structure to relieve the back and servo motors to make the user stronger. So, manipulation and moving 25%. I know that Nick is not here today, but he definitely would second this uh, this purchase. I know him well enough, that old rascal. So, medicine definitely needs that. And beyond that, well, let's pick up some food here. Some food for the road. I like buying some medicine on this occasion. And let's just pick up their steel. Let's just hope we're not going to get ambushed one more time. Okay. 100 hospitality score. Beer and cherries. Boom and chicken egg. Pears. Organic pulp. Oh, nice. Eggs. They actually left a lot of food. It's really good. So let's see. I'm all allied with South Arizinum, and all the other Outlander unions are my enemies, sadly. I am also allied with the Gentle Tribe. No fishbowl? No. I don't run any mods for that. But now that you mention it, it feels like actually something that I want to change. Gosh, I feel so tired. Stupid vaccine. We have enough pets already, you think? Look, we almost have none left here. Oh yeah, the river hound. And also, I was busy. Feeding them is a day job now. Well, they feed themselves mostly. Training them is the big problem. I think we're we're well off to slaughter that book. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Mm. I was hoping for another kitchen bot there. So let's uh, trade with the Benthosians. Maybe they have something in town. I mean, I am carrying around a lot of money at this point. It's really a serious lot of money. Surlyane is food binging. Yeah, it's okay. You do you. So. <sighs> Me go matter pelt coat. That sounds like a crazy piece of clothing. An incubator has hatched. So finally, the female triceratops has hatched. Awesome. Now we can start breeding Triceratops at a larger scale. I like that. 
Hey Carl, welcome. Thanks, Joran. You you put uh, you, that was on 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 spot. Muscle parasites. Just when I forgot about this place being disease ridden to no end. Infestation. In our glorious eating hall. Oh man, that's freaking rude. Gosh, all the gemstone tables will be ruined. Okay. Let's put our snipers on some different weapons here. Alright. This is going to be quite a nasty one. But luckily we got pretty big guns in here. That's quite the infestation, let's see. It's 23 hives. <laughs> the beautiful tales. Cries of Chris of Praise. Oh. Well, it will solve my food problems though. Yeah. First table down. Mayday, table down, table down. So far, only the T-Rexes have suffered some damage. And one of the shrimp. Yeah, one of the shrimps. Well, I dare say we're on a good spot here. Builder bot! No! <clears throat> Sorry. So what's really important here right now is that we're going to hold open one of those doors. Because there's going to be a crazy temperature there. Guys, can we please start focusing firefighting here for a moment? It's not happening on its own. Guys, we can't we can't do this later too. Okay, looks like uh Destroying hives comes first. I mean, I get it. I get it. It's uh, it's totally relatable. <laughs> and please know, being all the pragmatic, just sits down and eats at the almost bank down table I like that. That's a sassy move. Okay, but that's also insectoid genomes. Insect toid. Well, we won't have to do that that often. Generating map for a new encounter. I don't like what this, uh, what I see here. So we're being ambushed by a ton of people here. Yeah, it's quite the night tonight. So, let's see. We have Hyorian, Yuget, and Rajul. So, who's my best handler of those? Hyorian, okay. So we'll definitely have to utilize the fighting force of the animals here too, then it should be no problem.
but I'm pretty confident that we need to do that. Alright. I want to focus my fire on these dudes here. And Hyorian rides in with his uh, with his warhammer. I like that. Riding into combat with his warhammer. Okay, that was way less frightening than I thought it would be. Very good, very good. Secrets. Yeah, I think we we can allow ourselves something like that. Some beers. Maybe I shouldn't have given those uh, guys in the first place what they wanted. Like the barbarian I am. Well, if so, you're a techno barbarian because it was a high tech hammer. So, okay, we're extracting genes. Awesome. Really awesome. So, other question. What happened to the Dino Wolf? Beetle Fleet Incubator. Oh, we were waiting for that one so long. Velocity Wolf. So that's what happened to that. It's a combo of a Velociraptor and a uh, wolf. Well, I'm not that. Uh, I'm not that much of a fan of these. They're squishy, you know. They are quite squishy. Faster than any dinosaur. Oh, I see. So that's their uh, their niche. But I'm not going to breed more of those. Hmm. I'm not a big fan right now. So let's see. Definitely got to try the Dino Insectoid and the Dino Bear, don't you agree? Okay. Caravan's going to arrive at that spot tomorrow. Let's see what we can do. Wow, so I gotta admit, taking care of that situation like that was to me quite quite impressive for this uh, colony. I didn't expect them to be that well off. So let's put up an emerald one. War merchant, okay, dude. That war merchant caravan looks so small. Like, seriously. I still got no clue how we're supposed to deal with that. The Huntsman and the Lair. Okay. Can I combine T-Rex and Elephant? No. I can't combine specific dinosaur flavors with each other. The game rolls that randomly. We can just stay patient and curious about the outcome of these. So, War Merchant, War Merchant. Wow, the T-Rexes are valuable. But not too surprised about that. Hey, they're selling a fertilized T-Rex egg. Thanks, already got that. But beyond that, take the Ambrosia, take the Flake. Take the wake up. Well, no, we have an addict here. So, same goes for the Luciferium. I still have a little bit of money left. Oh, they're buying the junk weapons. Yeah, feel free to just pick up, uh, pick all, pick up all of that stuff. Thanks. I mean, it would be uh, quite good to smelter that. Hey, Nervous, welcome. Oh my god, that's so much stuff. But that's 
just so much stuff which will be finally gone from my premises for good. It's also worth something. Let's not sell the EMP launcher though. Wow. It's been a while since I had a chance to sell that stuff. Well, from here on I stop selling. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you don't worry. I know we slightly overpaid. Okay. I basically just wanted to get rid of the items there. But as we see here, there's still so much more to be done. So Eldritch Wooden Wood Armor. And we researched monuments. Advanced bee houses, meat growing, hopsichord, devil strand, okay. Could say that's a tr difficult uh, decision. So it turns out that these wooden armors can't be destroyed at the crematorium. Now that sucks. Okay. So there's a couple of items that can't be destroyed like that. Mm. Meat brewing. Why did I know that you would vote for that? Something deep down inside me told me. It's not that uh, hard, isn't it? Oh. Oh, this is annoying. I really thought that it would last longer today. <laughs> so, now we go. Illuminated dresser. Which material do we take? Let's do a Larmar bedroom. Illuminated Larmar dresser and illuminated Larmar end tables. Let's go nuts. Well, harpsichord is just a musical instrument and devil strand is a material we can work with later down the road. It's a mushroom that we can't plant, which produces a highly heat-resistant fiber. That's the tech in a nutshell. So, builder rank 5. Nah. I'm not gonna buy that. Not even interested. Okay. Sounds more useful in the long run. Cool. So we're going to plant that on that rich soil patch here. I was just going to prepare that zone already. So once we have the tech, I can plant out the Devil Strand on a extra fertile soil. This helps to grow that stuff faster. Devil Strand has only one downside, it just uh, takes forever to grow. Ah, oh, look at the cleaning bot go. Or the cleaning bots. So hauling bot has to be put out of its misery. I don't like it, but I have to do it. We can't save you. And before you suffer forever, 
let's put an end to it now. Poor thing. So, cleaning bot can be repaired, I think. I'm not sure about that, though. But he's still quite, uh, quite well off. Oh, we have an incubator hatched. Diplo beetle. Oh, we finally got ourselves our first diplo beetle. Mmm, juicy. They're so good. And the Spino Bear. Oh yeah. Diplo Beetle and Spino Bear are really, really groovy ball monsters. So. Of course, the Diplo Beetle needs training as well. And here we go. Oh, we're finally getting to the point where we're actually breeding the really funky stuff. So, let's see. I got everything duplicated and I only have enough material for one more attempt. So, I'm going to go for the Diplo Beetle because I really love those beasties. So... Okay. Huge sauropod hybrid insectoid traits. They produce jelly, by the way. And they hit like a truck 26 damage. That's why I like them so much. And the spinal bears go into a similar category. They have advanced trainability. And they have 23 damage, almost 24 damage per blow. It's also pretty nasty. Nothing that you want to stand toe to toe with, and a fine addition to my T Rexes. Let's make sure that the next uh, incubator will be hatching too. I mean, now we are at a really cool spot. Infested ship chunks. Oh, not again. Kaboom, kaboom. Okay. Whoa, cleaning bot. No. Okay, let's, let's recall all the robots first. And we will have to take care of that. So, where's my caravan? Pretty close to the town. So first things first, we need to take care of this uh, of this squad here. Although they seem to be peaceful as for now. Okay. Now the main part of the army is moving too. So we'll have to focus them into a more narrow situation here. Okay. No, not yet, Yorin, not yet. I didn't uh, find time. I'll post you when I am getting to another one. I'll keep you posted about my new creations. No, Jekyll! That's foolish. Okay. Yeah, poor Jekyll is uh, face tanking that now. Alright. Let's see how good we can hold that back. 
I mean, we are deafing it out with a herd of friggin' T-Rexes now. So, sadly, Hjorin is not with us here right now. Alright. The rest of the colony is arriving now, too. Which is quite good, because honestly, I don't know how the situation would go otherwise. We'll have so much work to do then, but the fight itself was not too much of a problem there. We're going to need to take care of that too. So I'll send Nick for that job. Okay, how's Yorin's health? Okay. Well, well. It's a bit much for only one person. But I think Nick will do. I wish we could just select them to mark them for destruction. Because gotta admit, it's quite a lot of those. No, war has died. <laughs> okay, there's another weather event coming in. But at least this is good for my... for my depleted steel stockpiles. Alright, Kitty Ninja got her got himself some some food poisoning here. Oh gosh, it's not over there. There's even more. Okay. A solar flare. Well, can't change much about that. Yalda is in sad wander. But we just destroyed the last of the infested ship chunks. Jeez, that's quite the labor. But on the plus side, we gained 34 components. It's pretty big. No, no, not my cat teeth. <clears throat> Sorry. It just touches me emotionally very, very much when we lose our genomes like that. Especially since cat isn't that easy to acquire. So, I'll need to work on that. Let's wait if we, if we get lucky with the dino insectoid. I'd be so happy if we get a breeding pair. So, we have foggy weather now. Animals need treatment. But nobody's bleeding to death now. Okay, good. Yeah, 
you guys can come. Don't be afraid of the mechanoids. Don't fear the centipede. It just wants to play. Oh no, we, we got ourselves in a barren flesh beast. Rajul. Dispose that. Oh, too bad. Just give Centipede a hug. Yeah, for sure. Is that something you want to hug? I don't. So, we researched Devil Strand. Awesome. So, now we can just assign that to this place. And Devil Strand takes 22.5 days, so that's one and a half seasons, basically. It's pretty brutal. Advanced Bee Houses, Robotics, Fundamentals, Noble Apparel, and Recurve Bow. Well. Choose. And then I think I'm going to go to bed quite soon. I wanted to stay a little bit longer today, but I don't know. I don't feel bad per se, but I also feel kind of kind of tired since since I got that uh, vaccination shot. Feeling already tired the whole day actually, but that's a dip. that's another story. Well, that's so sad that we have this barren flesh beast. Yeah, I just want to be a, a, around for longer streams again. The last couple of days I've been so so fried every other evening that I wasn't even able to stream as much as I wanted to. It's making me kind of sad, you know. No pressure, I'll be getting there. Okay. Yo, what the actual? <gasps> oh, we forgot one of them. I missed one spot. Well, Lakota, you, you shouldn't do that, man. You, you should just shouldn't do that. All right, Nick. Here's your chance to be a hero. That was actually really heroic. Okay, Loco, you can move now. That one was hiding nastily next to the tree. Ah, uh, next to the wall. Jeez. Okay, we are researching recurve bows then. So... Yep, time to say goodnight. Thanks guys for hanging around and I'm working on longer streams again. I wanted to stream longer, but like Joran said, it's understandable. And I hope you guys are having a fine night or whatever it is in your space. And see you all soon and sleep well. Enjoy your day. What